Okay, y'all, so this is going to be something chill, relaxing. I've been struggling with ideas to come up with content for the channel. So, what I do do on, like, maybe when I have a couple days off, I do like to try to cook for myself and just show myself some love by doing one thing that I really love, which is cooking. So, I'm just going to show you what I ate. And... When I first pulled this out the bag, I paused, was like, this looks like cat food. <laughs> but I hooked it up with some maple syrup. Um, and it was really good. And like the maple syrup. Uh, so it tasted, it's like turkey sausage maple syrup. Because they don't make that. I don't know why. And this is some leftover red potatoes that I cooked the night before. And I was just trying to get it like cooked, like warm through with like a nice little crust on the bottom. Almost like a hash brown, but not really like, you know, just to bring some texture into it. And those egg like ribs are amazing. 10 out of 10 will definitely recommend. Um, I love them because I can't normally eat eggs without my stomach getting really upset. So. I found these and it's a low carb option and it's not like I really care about that part but it's a low carb option and it's a way for me to get some protein in and also get some like the taste of eggs because I like the taste of eggs but yeah anyway back to the video <laughs> okay so and I added some vegetables mm, that is fruit ma'am that is fruit I added some fruit on it and some seasoning. I love that seasoning. I cannot say the name of it, but I love it. And the drink that went with my breakfast was a version sunset. I don't know. I was trying something. So you got the pineapple juice, some grenadine, and mint syrup. It would have been better if I had the orange juice, but I didn't. So that was breakfast. And that was like an 8 out of 10. I ain't even gonna hold you. It was really good. And, but it left me hungry. So I think I overdid it for lunch. Come on. Put the oil in the pan, ma'am. That's too much oil. As you've seen, I used way too much oil. And that was coconut oil. And these are the Beyond uh, Meat Sausage, like bro Brock's. And I guess, you know, cooked those through, added some, what is, that's butter, but it's not, it's apricot butter and toasted my rolls in there. And I was really just trying to pick up some of that, uh, like, stuff that was left on the pan. Mm hmm and these were supposed to be uh zucchini chips because i was fiending for some chips but i wanted to go with a healthier option and i've been looking on pinterest and seeing zucchini chips and i really wanted to give it a try and i wanted something spicy like really hot because when i think of like brock sausage i think of uh sauerkraut and spicy mustard but let's watch how I mess this up. Mm-hmm. Some salt. Give it a toss, toss, toss. What's this? Okay, that's the pepper. I overdid it on the pepper. Even though I want it spicy. And my garlic powder and onion powder has seen better days, but we're not gonna talk about that. Okay, all right. that's me banging. Like I was banging this out of the uh, bottle. Cause they clumped up and my heavy handed butt with this cayenne pepper now i didn't put a lot of oil in it but i don't think i should have put any oil in it and i really think i should have did it in the oven and stuff for the air fryer and there i go with that grainy mustard which was really good but 
maybe I should have used another mustard. And I changed plates because not everything I was going to make was going to fit in there. Because like I said, breakfast left me a little hungry. So I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to put this uh, sauerkraut. Well, not sauerkraut. Uh, slaw mix that I made, especially for this meal. And I thought it was going to go really well with it. It's like broccoli and carrots and a whole bunch of good stuff in there. And then my chips didn't come out chip like crispy. Probably because I put too many in there. Okay, so now we're going to make a mint chocolate chip uh, shake. Oat shake. And that's the lactate um, ice cream mint chocolate chip. With a little bit of almond milk. Come on. Put, I, we can't see. Move your hand. Okay. There we go. And just blended it up. And added a little bit of caramel on top. Caramel. Come on. Come on. There we go. A little bit of caramel on top. And that was my drink. Now, this was good. But it wasn't like... Mm, it, was, eh, it was a 6 out of 10. I definitely need to try zucchini chips again and for dinner because i was full that was way too much food for lunch i had to force feed myself this meal i just basically had leftovers from what i cooked the night before which was steak gravy well steak gravy um mashed potatoes and balsamic vinegar brussels sprouts those potatoes really I think I used them for like four dishes. And that gravy was so good. But I need to work on it. I need to get my gravy like down. Now, I'm always mixing something up. I don't know why. But I seen this on, I think it was How to Drink. He was making sangrias and... They was like red wine and Coca-Cola go together really good. And it has to be the Mexican kind of Coca-Cola. So that's what I'm doing here. Just a little bit of red wine. I love that red wine. That bottle will last me like a month. And then the Mexican Coca-Cola. Ma'am. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And a little splash of that. And this meal was like a 10 out of 10 definitely loved it i'm gonna add a little bit of salt because i don't overly season my uh like use salt on my food and then for breakfast the next day i just had some leftovers because i was overcooking and i would like to thank y'all for stopping by and watching